بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا الیکٹریکل انجینئرنگ یوٹیوب چینل ان دس ٹیوٹوریل آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈیمانسٹریٹ این ادر ویری ایفیشینٹ ٹیسٹ وچ کین بی پرفارمڈ آن ٹرانسفارمرز اینڈ دیٹ ٹیسٹ از کالڈ سمپنر اور بیک ٹو بیک ٹیسٹ دی پرپز اف پرفارمنگ دس ٹیسٹ از ٹو کیلکولیٹ دا وولٹیج ریگولیشن ایفیشینسی اینڈ ہیٹنگ لاس انڈر دی لوڈڈ کنڈیشن and uh, these measurements can be done simultaneously if we are performing this uh, efficient test so this test requires two identical transformers and in this transformer the in this so in this test the two transformers uh, which are identical will be connected in parallel with each other and uh, here we have the input bus and at the input bus we have a voltmeter and a wattmeter so this left terminal is connected to the upper uh, sides of the primary windings and this right bus or right terminal is connected to the lower sides of the primary windings and these are the secondary windings and uh, the secondary windings are also connected in parallel the upper ends of the secondary windings are connected with each other and the lower ends uh, of this upper secondary winding is uh, connected to a switch and then to a wattmeter and there is an ampere meter connected in series and then we have another auxiliary transformer uh, whose primary is connected with the combination of these two secondaries and here we have the primary winding and which is terminated at the lower side of this lower side of this secondary transformer and so that the secondary loop is also uh, closed so this is an auxiliary transformer and the purpose of using this transformer is to vary the load which is applied across these two parallel connected transformers so we will have one load at the secondary of this auxiliary transformer and we will vary that load such that full load current uh, passes through the primary of this transformer and the primary of this transformer is actually the secondary of these two transformers so when this ampere meter reads the full load current of these two transformers we will stop varying the load for this auxiliary transformer so the purpose of this transformer is to vary the load for these two transformers since we want to flow the full load current across these two transformers we have to connect this transformer at the secondary so uh, the full load current will give us the full load copper losses and this w1 uh, the first watt meter is used to calculate the uh, core losses or the iron losses so the under the principle of this test can be understood by first opening this uh, switch s and uh, supply connect the voltage supply over here and uh, when this switch is open uh, even though the load is calculated over the secondary of this terminal these two transformers will be operated in the open circuit mode so there will be no load connected when the switch this switch s is open and in that case this wattmeter will only read the core losses of these two transformers since these two transformers are identical the core losses across one transformer will be calculated by dividing the total losses with 2 and uh, in the second case we will close this switch s and we will vary the load at the secondary of this auxiliary transformer such that full load current full load current of these two transformers flows uh, from this circuit so this ampere meter will read the full load current of these two transformers and in that case uh, we have to concentrate on the direction of current uh, of these two transformers so when a full load current is passing through this uh, circuit uh, the direction of current i1 will be from f to e to j l g h m and f so this is the direction of the full load current and uh, after m it will again flow through this uh, f terminal and then e j l g h m and f so the full load current will pass through this loop and we know that this current is not actually flowing through this watt meter so even under full loaded condition this watt meter will read only the core losses core losses and 
uh, as a result of this uh, primary current the secondary current will also flow uh, from this closed loop and the direction of secondary current will be from a to b to this switch to this watt meter to do, to this ampere meter to this primary winding to d to c and so on so secondary current will uh, continue to flow from this loop and primary current will continue to flow from this loop and there is no primary current flowing through this w1 watt meter so this is the strength of this uh, sampanar or back to back test and uh, when switch s is closed is adjusted to give full load current such that w2 reads full load copper losses of the two transformers under full load condition current flows through this loop and it does not pass through w1 hence w1 still reads the four losses and individual power loss across single transformer is half of the total losses so w2 is used to calculate the full load copper losses and w1 will be giving us the four losses and both these losses will be given at the same time when this these two transformers are operated under full load condition so uh, for this test we don't need to exclusively perform the open circuit test first to calculate the four losses and then we need a short circuit test to calculate the copper losses but uh, this test uh, gives both the losses at the same time so that is all about our today's uh, tutorial i hope you have enjoyed and understood the concept for watching more similar videos please stay tuned to this youtube channel until the next lecture it's goodbye